this is the overture to danger. This is the sound that freezes the attention. The roll of drums. This is the signal that death may be near. Top of the evening, Joe Daly. Jed, 31 years is a, is a long time to put on a six hour VHS tape. And Joe Daly is retiring. I've been stewing about this for three or four days. You've been somewhat of a cornerstone, an icon here at Walker Machine. Everybody has a Joe Daly story that they fondly remember. If I really got started on some of my favorite Joe Daly stories, this thing could turn into something longer than the Titanic. Joe Daly, the X Factor. My gosh, what can I say about Joe Daly? I'm sure everyone, including myself, has a lot of humorous stories about adventures and travels with Joe. Hey, Joe, it's me, Karen. Hey, Joe, just wanted to congratulate you on your retirement. Joe, I'd like to wish you a happy retirement and a very well-deserved one. I think he's the youngest man I've ever met. You will always be a 30-year-old man. He was one of the most enthusiastic uh, bosses I think I've ever had. He made every day seem like an adventure. Oh, I think a happy-go-lucky. Uh, let's get the job done. Let's, let's have fun while we do it. I don't know if you remember a trip across town in Charleston one night when Gary Hundley and I took you to get your car out of an impoundment. Well, better not talk about that one. When they saw Joe and I getting out of the helicopter dressed in this military uh, garb that uh, they thought we were being invaded. You know, working for you all those years, everybody has their stories. We know do I have an opportunity for you. And especially if you rode in the car with them while you was driving. You've got to worry about a guy who gets in a Rosemobile and puts driving gloves on. How many men who pilot Rosemobiles wear leather driving gloves? Joe Daly, on the other hand, never got out of the jet airplane. Let's talk about the time that uh, you called in, said you was going to be late coming in the office. And the reason why was because you had the iron pizza shirt for school. Mr. Daly, what can I say that hasn't already been said by my fellow managers? I could talk about the time that uh, you and I drank Gallianos all night long. A man sticks his head in the door and said, he's got a gun. He's got a gun. What are we going to do? I've worked real hard for you to be able to become the new chairman of the board of the old parks club. I could talk about the time that you and I drove to Pittsburgh and we'd gotten so old we couldn't remember who we were talking about. We've had, uh, I think, quite a relationship over 31 years. Or I could talk about the time that uh, you ran over the fire hose on your way home. How many men our size have attempted inverted areas? on downhill skis. Go for it, babe. In your next venture, don't try to be a professional skier. We also believe, Joe, that uh, this is just a trick, that you're trying to break the Jerry Brewster retirement party record. Only one little problem was Joe and my new salesman sold the equipment below our cost. When you did make a mistake, uh, you didn't—he uh, didn't, uh, didn't uh, berate you or 
come down on you very hard with regard to mistake. We helped you figure out what you did wrong. In fact, it was so obvious that you flew up in the helicopter that day to personally give me this Keystone piston ring. I have kept this piston ring in my top desk drawer for 17 years. I'll also uh, give you credit for uh, bringing our service department out of what I call the dark ages into the modern era. And I want to thank you for getting that started because it sure helped us in the sales department. You've uh, helped all of us. You've mentored several of the managers within Walker Machinery Company. And I know I'm certainly grateful for where uh, uh, a lot of your guidance and, and help over the years. You've been a real inspiration and a father figure to a lot of people. The one that uh, really sticks out for me is the 16 hour journey we took from Charleston down to Destin, Florida. The reason why we drove, Joe, was that you wanted to go uh, deep sea diving and uh, so you had your oxygen tanks in the truck and basically uh, I was drafted to uh, serve as your chauffeur. He's a good friend, got a great family, and he's my cyber buddy. I'd rather be lucky than smart. Enjoy your final years. That's why the drums roll. One oh five to black one. One oh five to black one. Come in, Joe. I love you. I'll miss you.